Hey YouTube fans, I'm a little config, uh, conflicted about putting this video up about 5-HTP supplementation. So please uh, do your own research. If you decide to take it yourself, um, you do so at your own risk. Uh, now, some of the research I saw about some people having this uh, sonophilic myalgia, um, which can be very serious and, and can last for years and can be permanently disabling. That's, that's what really concerns me. Apparently, it was just specific batches from a Japanese, um, jump, a Japanese supplier. Um, so I'm really, really conflicted about posting this. Uh, so please take this next video with that warning and recommendation. Um, and I'm going to think about whether I will try it myself or not. And I mean, some of the things that I take, there's all sorts of warning as well. So you have to balance between the risk, cost, risk, benefit. So um, if if this works for fibromyalgia and it uh, improves the quality of your life and it's safe, then that's something to be considered. So I really need to think more about it. And I, and I encourage you to think more about it. So that's my disclaimer. I'm going to put the rest of this video on. So video on. So keep watching now. Okay. Hey there guys. Um, whilst I was, just getting a link towards fibromyalgia and uh, stress, I rediscovered this uh, YouTube video, which I'll play a little bit of it now, that talks about supplementing 5-HTP, uh, 100 milligrams three times a day, to improve anxiety, fatigue, and sleep, apparently. So it, um, it is related to the um, serotonin levels. So let's play that briefly. Uh, it's something that I would like to try maybe down the track, maybe not right now, but I would like to try it and, and see how it goes. But let's play this briefly and see how we go. Patients received 100 milligrams of 5-HTP three times per day for 90 days. And that study found significant improvements in all measured indices, including pain intensity, quality of sleep, morning stiffness, anxiety, and fatigue. So it looks like 5-hydroxytryptophan or 5-HTP can inhibit or reduce pain, anxiety, and fatigue. What was important to note from the study was that there wasn't much more further improvement after 60 days of 5-HTP use. And in fact, when you look at the study, it looks like effects become plateaued at around 30 days of use. So when a patient starts taking 5-HTP, by day 30 to 60, they have seen the best improvements. And after that, effects don't seem to improve much more. So they do have continued improvement with continued use, but there's no further increased or further improvements after that 60 day period. So even in other sources, the recommended dose for fibromyalgia is 100 milligrams PO, which means by mouth, TID, which means three times per day for one month. And this is what is quoted in other medical sources. But there was one caveat here with regards to 5-HTP use in that it was associated with eosinophilia myalgia syndrome. And another point to note was that it should not be used with SSRIs or SNRIs or other pro-serotonergic substances like St. John's Ward. So with regards to the eosinophilia myalgia syndrome association, this seems to be related to some contaminant in the 5-HTP supplement. So this may not be the big issue here, but again, this is something to note because there was some association between this syndrome and 5-HTP use. Now having said all of that, how might serotonin modulate all of those fibromyalgia symptoms we talked about before. All right, well, I won't um, go into that further, but you saw there was a couple of caveats there. So, like, speak to your doctor if you try that for yourself. Um, and there is a possibility of that contamination. It might be worth looking into whether, uh, if you do have that symptoms of a sonophilic myalgia, whether if you stopped, um, you know, taking the... 
five HTP supplement, whether it just go away. So that's something to look into. But I was anyway. I was quite surprised that w- there was something like that. I'm not sure why I didn't try it in the past. I mean, I've tried other things like low dose naltrexone, which works quite well for me but anyway I thought I'd share that with you guys um, and I'll have a think if I'm going to take it myself but um, yeah I I mean when, when it comes to fibro if we can improve the quality of our lives it's always uh, a good thing as long as we don't harm our health in the meantime I will also put a link to this YouTube video in the in the description of this video Something to consider, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll keep you posted. Teach yourself out.